It's the Ask Go, Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Beyonce. She celebrated her 43rd birthday yesterday, and has she gone full content creator, KJ? Because she posted, I am so grateful for another year. Thank you for the loving birthday wishes. I mean, that's like, that's like what content creators do. That's what, like, regular people do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, got, I, found, I found that interesting. And she posted a series, of, a series of photos. Of course, you know, you know, she's got that new whiskey she's trying mm-hmm. to promote. She posted some balloons. So what do you think about this? And did you feel like Beyonce was talking to you because I saw you like that post? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I liked it because I, I just love that Beyonce's a Virgo like me. So, yeah. Uh, right, right. I, I did feel like she was talking to you. You felt like she was talking <laughs> to you. So you, you appreciated her acknowledgement of you wishing her happy birthday. Yeah. So there you go. See? At least she's grateful for it. <laughs> Do you think she's really drinking this whiskey, KJ? That now you that I want to, I want to see that. I want to see her drink that. I'll yeah. Video. Okay. I don't. I don't believe she's out here just slamming whiskey. I want to <laughs> see it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, new content creator uh, Beyonce. Look out. Uh, speaking of c- content creators, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, their son Saint, is launching his own YouTube channel. And no, it's not called Keeping Up with Saint. <laughs> At least I don't think so. I haven't looked. I hope not. Uh, because you know what? A saint is eight years old. I ain't trying to watch no eight-year-old YouTube channel, okay? But Kim Kardashian posted on her uh, story and says that the reason why she decided to let Saint get a YouTube channel is because they signed a contract between Kim and Saint. Handwritten. And some of the rules in this contract are Saint is not allowed to comment any personal family information not allowed to film any personal information, and not allowed to film while North is recording music. He must also seek permission whenever he wants to share something on his channel. He must show his mom or guardian all videos before he posts them. And he's got to give permission to any grown-up if his mom says to delete his videos for any reason. Do you think that's a good contract for Saint to have an uh, eight-year-old? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, I I understand like the personal information stuff for sure. Yeah. I mean, he, people are out here scamming. They're looking for any reason to steal their money. KJ. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can't post no cards or nothing. You know what I mean? You yeah. don't want anything in the background. They used to try it with Mason when uh Courtney's oh. son was started getting on social media. Oh, they used to be like, hey, send uh send us pics of your mom's credit card. Exactly. Blah, blah. Exactly. <laughs> See, see that you, you gotta watch out for these cameras out here. I think, uh, well, so North is recording music all the time. Is this what this is too? I saw that in the contract. North is out here full, fully recording music. Oh, she, wow. They didn't want him to uh, film her recording music. So yeah, no leaks, Saint. No leaks. No <laughs> leaks. I think they should have put it in this contract too to shut off the comments because. Oh yeah. Because dude, they got they gotta put some filters on these comments because. Yeah, I, I, man, you only poor Satan don't need to see what people have to say about his mom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. About, about some of the things that his mom has did in the past, okay? I don't yeah. want Satan to find out like that in the comments of YouTube. So shut those comments off, Kim. Uh, someone that's used to having the cameras on her, Taylor Swift. Yes, football is back, and that means Taylor Swift is back at the Chiefs game. I mean, she pulled up in these boots, KJ. Did you see her outfit? I, I did. I mean, what what do those boots say, KJ? They made for walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Travis Kelsey said those boots are made for something else. Uh, but people are wondering about Taylor Swift uh, and, and, and the suite that she was in. People are trying to make a big deal about this because she was not in the suite with Patrick Mahomes' wife, Brittany Mahomes. You know, there was a big duo last season. You know, they had the handshakes and the dancing and all that uh-huh. stuff. TMZ wrote a whole report on it. They think they may not may not be cool anymore. What do you think? Do you think they're not cool anymore or what? I didn't think too much of it until TMZ posted that. And I was like, dang. I think they're just uh, fishing. Definitely yeah, fishing. They could for this. be, yeah. Because they, it wasn't like they were always in the same suite last year. You know, I think on the road, they're probably more in the same suite because, you know, they have to share suites because they're on the road. But at home, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure they need their own suites because, you know, Brittany, she got all them kids. <laughs> she got all them kids. She got all of Patrick's family. So she probably has her own suite more often than not. And then, you know, every now and then they would share a suite, but not all the time. So I don't think that that's a big deal. And they're trying to say that maybe it's because, you know, Brittany Mahomes is out here liking Donald Trump post. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. See, they're always trying to make, everybody's trying to make everything about politics. How about it that, that Brittany, she got kids, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> she got to take care of them kids. She can't be partying with Taylor Swift every time, okay? And if anybody's upset about, you know, uh, Taylor Swift showing up at the Chiefs games, just know that, like, 
The Chiefs have won 10 out of 13 games that Taylor Swift has been at. So if she's there, bet on the Chiefs. <laughs> That's the only bet I won last night. Betting on the Chiefs and Taylor. And finally, you know, we talked about this yesterday, KJ. ASAP, Rocky, J. Cole, new song. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, it, 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 nobody thinks it's interesting or finds it interesting that J. Cole's going to be on this song with ASAP Rocky because ASAP Rocky previously uh, dissed Drake, you know? And it appears that ASAP Rocky kind of, sort of, this is Drake a little bit on this new song that he has with J. Cole. The song's called Ruby Rosary, and he's got a couple of subs, I would say. It's not like full-on dissing Drake, but he's got a couple subs in there. Wouldn't you say some stuff that's really close to be like, hey, I'm talking about Drake. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Which I find interesting, considering, you know, uh, ASAP Rocky, earlier this year, he did an interview with uh, Billboard, and when he... They were asking about, you know, his beef with uh, Drake and when he dissed Drake on, um, you know, Future and Metro Boomin's album. ASAP Rocky said, I ain't in the middle of that. I got bigger fish to fry. Well, apparently he had some time for subs, though, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> he made a little time for that. <laughs> he made a little time for subs, okay? <laughs> so we'll see if he has anything else to say when he finally drops that album, which should be coming real soon. Hey, thanks for listening to Celebrity Nonsense with me, Esco. Let's go. Make sure you follow my podcast and uh, check out my YouTube channel. You can subscribe. It's the same. E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Esco. Let's go.